Welcome back to my series giving the top five best offseason moves from each NFL team. In this one, we have the New England Patriots. At five for the Pats, I have Antonio Gibson. Gibson had a really, really good start to his career, but he was sidelined due to injury and Brian Robinson Jr. just playing out of his mind. Even though they still have Ramondre Stevenson, this is a fresh start for Antonio Gibson, and if anything happens to Stevenson, he has a chance to go in there and be really effective. At four, I have KJ Osborne. Osborne's really been overshadowed so far in his career with the likes of Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison taking his spots. But the times that he's had to be a wide receiver one or a wide receiver two, he's been really, really good. He has a chance to get a ton of targets here from Drake May in this Patriots offense, and I think he can thrive here. At three, I have Jalen Polk. Now, here's a guy that can take away some targets from K.J. Osborne. Polk has really good size with some long arms, and he can go up and get just about any ball. A receiver like this is so important for a guy like Drake May early on in his career. He's going to have some sort of a safety valve throwing it up to Jalen Polk in contested coverage. At two, I have re-signing Michael Onwenu. Onwenu is a super versatile O-lineman who played some guard and some tackle. He's an absolute beast in the run game, and he's been really good in pass protection as well. When you've got a young quarterback, it's great to make sure you lock down some great offensive linemen for him. But at one, I have Drake May. I know it's not a super popular pick here, but I'm really, really in love with Drake May. He's got good size. He's really poised in the pocket. He's a solid decision maker, and he has sneaky speed that people don't really talk about. Because Jaden Daniels and Caleb Williams are so flashy, I think he's been overlooked, but in a lot of other drafts, I think he would have still gone top three, top two. Overall, the Patriots are rebuilding, and there's no way we can really tell how this offseason was until after we see him play. But I'm super interested to see how Drake May does in this young offense. Comment what team I should do next.